This is not financial advice. Please, don't sue me, bro. Hello, my fellow, bag hodlers. This is Doge. Considering all this ruckus about the Fed and what will those central bankers are up to, I wanted to make a video about Lord Powell and the crew. Therefore I took a look at what those sneaky, sneaky central bankers have been up to, and guess what I have discovered? A group of people, supposedly composed of the most prominent economists in the land, is behaving like a cabal of crazed narcissists. Unbelievable, right? Surely, officials, trusted this much could not stoop so low. Now, settle in, dear viewer, and watch how I shine the light on Federal Reserve's degeneracy in all its depraved English. Imagine, you leave your basement for some tendies, and you happen to bump into okay-looking femoid. My lady. You tip your fedora. Of course, I know, that this is completely unrealistic, IRL, either one of you have fled by now, sheep, out of disgust, and you, due to your crippling autism. But luckily, this is an allegory, thus it does not have to reflect real life perfectly. Therefore, instead of seeking for help, this stops and flashes you a lovely smile. I, I, my. Although most women are repulsed by spurred behavior, this one seems to find your awkwardness cute. Well of course. I would love to go on a date with you. Let us meet tomorrow at 8 p.m. at Wage Donald's by Wagemart. You feel ecstatic. No longer shall you be making those later virgins posts while yourself being a kissless and hugless virgin. Three weeks later. Your relationship is progressing nicely, she is sweet, caring and is constantly showering you with attention, but one day, it all dries up. She turns mean, neglectful and even, bog forbid, begin criticizing your favorite waifu. And thus in order to earn back her affection, you toil as hard as McDonald's wagey. You do her housework, you listen her spout about her abusive ex-boyfriends for hours on end, and worst of all, you begin selling off your precious treasures to fund expensive gifts. Bit by bit, she returns to her previous self. This obviously brings you a lot of relief. And so, you vow to yourself to try harder, so that your girlfriend always stays happy. And you remain, none the wiser, to your girlfriend's schemes, to turn you into an obedient manslave, by the way, she is running this game on multiple needs simultaneously. This is exactly what Lord Powell has been up to ever since the start of the tightening. For a while, the Fed has been trying to convince everyone of its credibility. We will totally be raising interest rates so long as inflation remains until then no bull market for you. Lord Powell's Jackson Hole speech really comes to mind. I'm in charge. Do you feel in charge? At a first glance, this tough rhetoric might seem to be really scary and intimidating, yet after a deeper inspection and some introspection, the truth becomes clear. One should always judge someone by their actions, not by their words. Well so far, the central bankers were not very keen on walking the walk. These 0.5 and 0.75 rate hikes were utterly pitiful, as compared to how valiantly Paul Volcker was combating inflation. And we are suffering similar levels of inflation, we had in the 70s. Worst of all, the past two rate hikes were only by 25 basis points. Their justification, cooling inflation, however, that could be easily attributed to base effects. The most recent inflation reading may appear to confirm the narrative, but just remember what happened a year ago. That is right, war, and panic in commodities. Also, the headline CPI may have looked good, but month-over-month -month core CPI was at 0.4%. But it is all in the past, Fed's bluff has finally got exposed. The situation with SVB and other banks has demonstrated that the Fed is unwilling to accept the collapse of the financial system, in fact, the failing banks are getting bailed out on the same day. Just like an abusive narcissist does not want to be nice, nor does the Fed want to tighten. However, if these psychos had their way all the time, not even the most desperate of fools, would let themselves be controlled. Therefore, they have to keep up the appearances, though eventually the mask always slip. Always. Gaslighting is an act of making you doubt your grasp on reality, i.e. through deceptive means convincing you that you are insane. Gaslighting is one of the most favored tactics of narcissists and abusers. The reason why they love it so much is that it grants them absolute control over the target. Once they deceive you into trusting them more than your own senses, they got you. 
No matter how many insults they hurl or how many times they play a knockout game with you, or bog forbid, tell you to keep the toilet seat down. That is all irrelevant, because you deserve this, or this is normal, or this is how they show their love for you. Such is the power of putting someone in a false reality of your making. This weapon is probably the most potent one, Lord Powell has right now. Inflation is transitory and will be beaten with fractional rate hikes, even though banks have access to unlimited liquidity through reverse repo and repo facilities. Inflation was caused by supply shocks and evil Putler. Ignore all those trillions of printed dollars. And my favorite is, Everything is fine, all it will take to beat inflation is a soft landing. So far, this false and contradictory web of narratives did help Lord Powell to reign in the markets but as time passes it will just keep getting harder and harder to do so. It all comes down to this. The physical forms of violence may be more easily discernible, but lying and manipulating are still abuse nonetheless. For obvious reasons, non-physical violence is preferred by abusers of lesser combat prowess. Thus, unfortunately for us good and healthy 500-pound boys, impressive girth does not safeguard from victimization, actually, for us the situation is so much worse. Our low self-confidence, caused by the ravages of the free market, makes us especially easy targets. While our butts might deserve a good beating over all those crypto and NFT losses, but it is to our dads to straighten us out, not our significant others. Never be a punching bag, no matter how abusers try to justify their actions, for they are inflicting suffering solely for their own benefit, whether it would be twisted enjoyment or something else. The Fed and our Lord Powell have certainly been running quite a slick game so far. We will continue the tightening until inflation returns to the 2% target. LOL. Liars. The hopeless fight against inflation is just a theater, the true goal is to bail out the government while dunking over the investors and bondholders. This is happening in multiple ways, by keeping investors locked in either risk, on stocks and cryptos, or risk off, bonds, and cash, they can keep investors away from commodities, which somewhat suppresses the prices of raw materials, while the economy is getting flooded with printed cash, you buying bonds is also good for Uncle Sam since the bond yields get reduced that way. The ones who will get shafted the hardest, are the bondholders. You see, a bond doesn't really go up with inflation, in fact, if the yield is lower than the level of inflation, speaking in real terms, you are losing money. That is right, our monetary system is this ridiculous, you pay for the privilege to lend your cash to Uncle Sam. Since Uncle Sam is neck deep in debt, as of now debt to GDP ratio is around 120%, and the only way the government ever be able to see itself rid of this massive financial burden, is through inflation. However, if inflation is allowed to run rampant, the public might lose the faith in the currency and thus break the system. This is where the Fed steps in, their purpose is to prevent the public from panicking and create an impression of the fight against inflation. And in the meantime, the government would be able to inflate the debt away, convince the public to accept inflation by blaming it on some unrelated factors or maybe even reset the entire financial system, with the help of CBDC. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Seeing, a once respectable, institution, which is responsible for the largest economy in the world, fall so low, is simultaneously a very scary and exhilarating thing. I bet, that a lot of Germans during the times of the Weimar Republic, must have felt similarly before the currency broke. Whether the US shall suffer the same fate, only time will tell.